My name's Aaron, I'm from Mount Hope Lions Pride CX4. Well, that's a long trek back. I started playing on my 14th birthday because the paintball arena in Kitchener sent out some coupons, two for one, and uh, played a bit for that time and then had to take a six year break when my parents wouldn't pay for it. And uh, yeah, round about when I was 20 or so, started uh, picking up again, playing at the arena, got a job there as a referee and really developed a passion for it. Played a little bit of tourney ball in 2001, not much, but uh, we really started getting back into it in about 2004, I think, with the GT series, which is kind of, I guess, the precursor to CX4. And there was me and a couple other like-minded individuals. We were really passionate about playing paintball, but we were also really passionate about our faith in Jesus Christ. And we wanted to find a way to bring that together. So put together a team of Christian guys to go out and kind of try and really represent as much of an authentic faith as we could on the field. And I mean, that meant, uh, I mean, back in mid 2000s, there was a lot more cheating on the field, a lot more hot tempers. And through our example, we tried to bring that down, and bring the teams together. I think we had some success with that. And we've made some really awesome friends in the meantime. Christianity as a religion is going to be like a lot of other religions. There's people that know their rights and uh, get really bent out of shape when anything crosses their path that doesn't quite fit into their paradigm. But there's also people that really authentically love Jesus and want to mirror his example. And he was a guy that broke all sorts of religious and social paradigms when he was around. So the people that are involved in this are ones that really aren't so much worried about the religiosity, but are worried about the faith. Now we've got some churches that have, have come down on us saying you shouldn't be shooting people and shouldn't be playing such a violent game, but it's, uh, it's gone both ways, representing our faith in the paintball world, but also representing faint paintball back into our churches. And we've had some impact there as well, just having them see it more as a sport than as a war game. Well, you know what? A lot of uh, youth groups are tending to take their uh, their kids out to play rec ball now. And there's, uh, I mean, yeah, paintball's getting bigger. So, of course, it's going to spread out into all sorts of different things. With uh, At the paintball arena in Kitchener, at, it's branched out in Guelph now, we uh, we used to have group rates for youth groups. We'd drop it down for nonprofits like hockey teams and whatnot. And, yeah, as long as people go out and have a good time, don't get lit up by the, the jerks that think they're real hot shots in the paintball community, then yeah, if they keep coming back, it's gonna grow. Uh, I've seen a couple other uh, guys that are uh, youth pastors or whatnot, bringing their youth groups out and then getting into tournaments themselves. I know there's, uh, there's a guy down there on Defiant that is a youth pastor as well. That's Tavistock CX4 team. Uh, we got uh, Fenelon Falls ID Kids and Hamilton Havoc, which is Raiders home team, uh, they're just tearing up the field out there. They're doing a great job. The biggest reason is that a CX4 franchise is very, very reasonable as far as prices go. So, I mean, none of our guys are really well off. So being able to come down and play a tournament for a hundred bucks basically is key. And then, I mean, CXBL has the best organization by far out of any of the tournament series in Ontario. Uh, Louie and Brian at PBL have done an awesome job organizing things. We've uh, we met a lot of teams that are still around, moving up through the ranks in RXL, MXL, CXBL, back when we were playing GT four or five years ago. And the relationships are probably the biggest thing that brings us back. We just, we love these people. 